My name's Nicole Riccoboni. I'm married to my best friend of 12 years. I have one son named Rocco, and I am a critical care ICU nurse in Orlando, Florida. I was in a car accident with my mother and my brother when I was, uh, I think, 12, 13. We were hit by a drunk driver, and I just remember when we got to the hospital, there was a nurse there, and she was really nice, and I was crying, and she calmed me down. And even though I was only there for a couple hours, I remember nothing but that nurse. And I remember going home a day or two later, and I told my mom, I want to do that. I've had two grandparents die of cancer. Uh, my husband had a heart attack when he was 29 years old while I was in nursing school. On top of that, we had two or three miscarriages. It took us 10 years to have my son. Luckily, through fertility medication, that worked out. It's just living life, and every time there's a big event medically, there's always a nurse there or a doctor there to walk me and my husband or my family through a happy moment or a sad moment, and I just try to remember that and those memories and those times when I take care of people. I don't know if this is funny, it actually happened to me. I always want to do CPR. I don't know why, it's the most exhausting thing to do, but I love doing it. I love getting that response back and their eyes opening. But the CPR kept going. It was five minutes, 10 minutes, 15 minutes, and I was told to switch. I was like, no, I got it. I've been a nurse for a couple of years. I'm, you know, I think I'm a veteran. And then I passed out. My biggest tip for new grads would be to understand that you are learning. And when you learn, you're going to make mistakes. I understand that nursing is scary, but it, it, it's the best thing I've ever done with my life. Again, I get to meet people in my community, uh, people who are going through tough times. I met a woman who was having a miscarriage while I was caring for her, and I explained to her that I've had a couple. It's gonna hurt, but a couple of years down the road, when you do have a child, it's, it's gonna be in the past. She emailed me, I think a year ago. She had a son, she's very, very happy, but she was like, you know what, thank you for being, you know, my kind of anchor in that moment. The most valuable lesson I've learned as a caregiver is that you have one life and that you have to live it. So many times I've seen people sadly pass away and they're 25, 35 years old and they had all these plans and all these dreams and they were going to get to it. And people always ask me, you, you do a lot. You're in school, you go to work, you take care of your son, you're doing other projects. I feel like, you know, I can sleep when I can, but I want to get the most out of today. I want to go to the park for two hours and then go swimming and then study for a test and then go to work and, and just enjoy life. And sadly, you don't know when it's going to be your time. So I say do the most you can. Okay, I don't know why your mouth's open, but that'll, that'll work. Okay, say goodbye. Bye. Bye.